Good morning, Quiet Copter 101, and welcome to Indian Wells Canyon. Um, before we get started, I need to give my shout outs. Today's shout outs go to Luca Bripoles and Mr. Drone. Luca Bripoles and Mr. Drone were first to say first in one of my recent videos, and this is your shout out. Congratulations. Okay, what do I got for you today? Obviously, I got the GDU 02 again. We're going to do another flight of the GDU 02. What I wanted to demonstrate and try out today is obstacle avoidance. It's obstacle avoidance system. Keep in mind, the front of this thing has two obstacle avoidance sensors. Uh, and what I'm going to do, first off, is try to fly around these uh, Joshua trees, trees we got here and see if this is able to avoid those Joshua trees or come to a stop if they're going to run into them. We're going to try it slow and pick it up. Also, I want to try out uh, what happens with uh, elevation. Is it if, as the elevation increases on the ground, will, the, will this thing do a control flight into the ground <laughs> or will it stop, you know, detect the ground and, and adjust its height accordingly? Turn it toward me. Hear that beeping? As I get closer to it, it moves farther back. So, by the way, how do you like my shirt today, folks? <laughs> so that obstacle avoidance is working. Let's see if I can do a controlled flight into something. Such as, let's go down here. We'll push forward a bit. Can I hit this Joshua tree? Turning it toward the Joshua. And trying to fly toward it. It's not letting me get any closer to that thing. I got full forward. Oh, and then it goes up and over. So that's what it does, folks. Interesting. Let's try that again. Coming back down. I fly it toward the Joshua. It went, it climbed and then went over the top of it. Well, <laughs> that's how good the job <laughs> that worked. Obviously, uh, obstacle avoidance needs a little work. If it's going slow, it's okay, but in that case, it hit the Joshua. Okay, and keep in mind, I do have obstacle avoidance on. Let me take it back up to the pit. And let's try that again. This time I'll go this direction, slowly. Okay, it detects it, and I'm still I'm pushing, trying to push forward into it. It's going up and up and up and over. Okay, well that worked. Why didn't it work coming in this direction? Let's try that again. We'll come in this direction. Where's my camera pointed? Point it toward me. <laughs> okay. Okay. It's locked on me for some reason. Okay, now it's detecting it. I don't know why it did not detect it the first time. Pushing forward, trying to run into it. And this time it's going around it. Yeah, pushing, it's climbing slowly. And then it goes when it's clear of the obstacle. So, again, I have no idea why that did not work, folks. But just letting you know, you know, there's a little bit of a bug there that they're going to have to work on. How about control flight into terrain? Let's go down here. We're, we got a hill here. Okay, right about there. We're, we're right at that point. We're about six feet up. And we're going to come up slowly up the hill and see if it can detect the hill and automatically adjust, or we'll continue on into the ground. I'm pushing forward on, on the stick. We'll climb. Yeah, it's detecting it and climbing automatically to go up the hill. But I wouldn't bet on it going too fast. Look, 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 look. It's almost gonna hit the ground that time. So again, it's obstacle avoidance needs a little bit of work. 